Hi there guys, it's Anthony here at Cutting Edge Guitar and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to do sweep picking. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, as I say in this lesson we're going to talk about sweep picking. Again, this is another technique that I get asked about all the time so I'm just going to give you some quick tips that will help you get into this technique. Now, first things first, sweep picking is predominantly used with arpeggios. So if you don't even know any arpeggios up and down the fretboard right now, first thing to do is to learn a few of those. So common arpeggio shapes would be stuff like this. If I do A minor as, that's a position three from the caged system. This is also uh, position four. That's another really common sweep shape. You might even see larger versions, things like this. Um, I'm doing this as a major arpeggio rather than minor, actually. Again, that's from the cage system. These are all different versions of major or minor triads. Uh, you can also do things with like major seven type arpeggios. This would be a common major seven sweep shape. Minor seven, dominant seven, etc. etc. Now, as this is not a fretboard knowledge uh, lesson, I don't want to get into this because the video could be really, really long if I go into all of that stuff. If you want loads of help on learning your fretboard inside now and then perfecting techniques and implementing them, do check out the links in the descriptions below. But what I'm going to do here is just talk about the mechanics of the sweep picking style. So, uh, sweep picking is, is predominantly used on your arpeggios because we use this technique for passages or lines that use one note per string. And on the guitar, that's generally how arpeggios are laid out. So, with sweep picking, what you're going to do is take your pick from string to string like this. So effectively, you are not trying to play consecutive different strokes in one direction. That is a big misconception with this technique, is that, oh, I'm just playing the same direction as string changes, don't I? So then I see players doing stuff like this. So like, what I'm doing there is I'm doing a consecutive bunch of individual downstrokes. That's not sweep picking. Sweep picking is when the pick actually glides through the strings. So it's almost one continuous motion, okay? So if I was playing uh, a, a, this A minor sweep arpeggio, what I need my pick to do is once I've played the note that's on the fifth string at the 12th fret here, what I want my pick to do is go through the fifth string and land on my D string, ready to play the next note, okay? So I'm gonna play A12, D10, G9, B10, and then finally, uh, E8, and then you're going to do some alternate picking at the top, or you could do a hammer on and a pull off if you wanted to come back down. When you're going in the reverse direction, you'd play, say, E8 with an upstroke, then you've got your B10, G9, D10, A12. But every time that you're doing this, I'm sort of dragging my pick through the strings, okay? So on the way up, it's almost like a push through. And then on the way back down, it's a drag pull back through. That's obviously with that, that first shape that I've looked at there. The other shape where I was talking about this position four from the cage system would look like this. You see how my right hand is gliding across the strings and then coming back. What I'm not doing is going. You know, it's not a bunch of individual strokes in any one direction, okay? So you want to make sure that you're always pushing through on the way up and then dragging through on the way back down. So a lot of players as well like the idea of using this as a 
face frying speed technique kind of thing, which is true because I mean players like Jason Becker or Ingo Malmsteen from the neoclassical world, you know, they've done all of that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, the, the main proponent of this technique, in my opinion, is a guy called Frank Gambali. Uh, is a Australian fusion player. If you haven't heard of Frank, I suggest you, you check him out because he's just mind-blowing and amazing. He plays this... It's still mind-blowingly fast. I mean, te Frank's technique is absolutely insane. But he also uses this really melodically. It's not just a mind-blowing shred thing. You can use it for melodic passages and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, but where Frank has sort of taken this to the next level is he uses it with scales too. So, of course, when we're talking about sweeping through triads or arpeggios, yeah, generally I'm playing one note per string. Or if I'm playing two notes per string, how I do it is I use a bit of alternate picking on the two notes per string part. So I would do down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, etc. But when you're playing through scales, generally speaking, if you're using three notes per string, like if I play an A major scale and three notes per string, um, the conventional alternate picking would see you going down, up, 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 down, up. So if you use sweeping through scales, which is quite often known as economy picking, what you would do here is you might play down, up, down, up, down, up to the B string, and then carry on up, down, up on the G string, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So when I'm doing this, I mean, if I start on my high E string, just going up, down, up, and then carry on there, it's on the transitions from the high E string notes to what I'm doing with the B string. You sort of, you've got to do that drag through again. So you drag through the high E string onto the B string. So. So when you've got your string crossing, it shouldn't be like you've got two up strokes. It should feel like one stroke that plays through the two strings. Of course, when you go the other way round, you're going to do the push through. So it's going to be down, up, down, down, there. So when you get to the end of your E string, so the ninth fret there, the C sharp, my next note is my D. What I'm doing is pushing through. It's not like... That's not sweet picking, that's just like, it's a jerky kind of movement. It should look really smooth. And there you have the nuts and bolts of how to do sweep picking. Okay, guys, if you've enjoyed this lesson, please do smash that like button. If you want to see loads more about things like learning your fretboard inside and out, perfecting techniques, um, learning how to implement that stuff in a wide variety of modern guitar styles, check out the links in the description. You'll go to Cutting Edge Guitar, where I have done all sorts of online courses, lesson packs, books, all that sort of thing. So check all of that out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more, and I will look forward to seeing you in another lesson here on YouTube sometime soon. Take care.